Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Last time we had finished rescuing Tracer Tong and we're getting started at the Bell Tower port, so let's pick up there. We're still on chapter 13. The Bell Tower port has a few uh, pieces that are tough to deal with in terms of pacifist, maximum XP, so this one might end up being long. I might even end up having to divide it into two videos. We'll see, but for now, our goal remains get inside Bell Tower's port, which I think I covered last time. Oh, well, let's just roll through here. We got some friendlies here, street thugs. You want some friendly advice? Stay away from the Bell Tower boys patrolling the streets. They're looking for some guy who looks a lot like you. Get it? But don't worry. I'm not going to do those bastards a favor. I never saw you. They're looking for some guy who looks a lot like you. Get it? Hey, we got a weapon merchant. I'm not ah, you buy or sell? I do it all. Look at a computer and see for yourself. What's he got? He's got two frag grenades, he's got a gas grenade, and an EMP grenade, and three mine templates. Let's see, reload speed, ammo capacity, cooling system, target seeking system. I wanna... I do want to upgrade my laser rifle, so let me see which of those up, standard upgrades it can take. Ammo capacity or reload Come speed. Come back any time! Let me have a look at it. Okay, it can use both. So I'll buy both after I make a few mines. It's like I'll be making EMP mines. I think those are the most useful. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now let's buy those weapon mods. Reload speed and ammo capacity. I will be right here. Thank you. All right. Now it needs two damage, three ammo capacity, and two reload speed to be completely upgraded. Let me just load it in the meantime. In the meantime, let's re-equip my trusty pistol and talk to this last guy. Tell me something, my wife. Why is it that everyone with Augs got hit by that glitch? Not all augments are made by the same company. They don't all use the same chips. It makes me wonder who's in on this. Lim? Taeyong? The government? Fucking aliens? Shit. What are they planning? It makes me wonder who's in All right. Let's keep moving now. What am I missing? Ah. All right, let's crawl through here. And we'll get started in earnest. As soon as we get out of the sewers, anyway. We have ten guys to deal with outside as well as two security bots and a turret. You see, we're out a little ways from the Hengshaw we're used to. Throw out trash. Here we are at the Bell Tower port. So let's check things out. Oh, I would have lo I would love to get those guys during their conversation if I could. So I'm gonna try my best to avoid triggering it. 
Come on, Jensen. If I can, maybe if I can keep my distance, they'll stay together. I have to get the gate open, and I think there's a security hub in here, too. We're in the portion of the game now that I've only played through once, so things might get a little dicey. But inside this shed, sure enough, we have a security hub. We've also got 250 credit chip and a crossbow hanging on the wall. A breaker box, I don't know what it does, so I'm going to leave it for now. And an automatic unlocking device. Let's hack the security hub first. It's just a level one. I cannot get to the server node. I can easily get to both data stores and then to the exit. Access granted. Let's turn off the camera and open the gate. Looks like the guys have left already anyway. Which is a shame, but what are you going to do? Now there's a bot wired to this somewhere too. Which I'm going to leave alone for now. Actually, since the bot is patrolling, I'm going to disable it. Well, no, let's leave it. Let's leave it patrolling, actually. I'm having trouble making up my mind. <laughs> Sorry. I don't want the automatic unlocking device. I just wanted to hack the computer. Let's try it again. Kei Chung, no code found. That's fine. Alright, this doesn't look too hard. Because I can get to the server node. That makes everything easy. Access granted. 100. 150 XP for the hack. From Porter DJ at porthanming.belltower.net to Chung K at porthanming.belltower.net. Harvesters on the move? Hey Chung, this may be nothing, but keep your eyes open tonight. I thought I saw one of them harvester thugs sneaking around outside the gate. I know the CEO says we've got him by the balls right now, but something tells me Tong Si Hung is not the kind of gangster who will sit still for something like that. Last thing we need right now is harvester trouble. Porter. From brav underscore zero at hq underscore hi dot bell tower dot net to brav underscore all at port hanming dot bell tower dot net. Go for O three hundred. Attention Bravo Squad, we are go for transport, O three hundred tonight. Wait for the day staff to leave, then Chung and Najiri will secure the gates. No one in or out until all the cargo is loaded, the ship sets sail, and this place looks new again. Belarus, Sanchez, you're in charge of cargo transfer. I want those storage units cleaned out and the life pods loaded up double time. No screams this time. You know the drill, people. Let's do this. Right, well, I do have one guy covering the front gate. I'd like to know where his friend went. Stop right there! Or if it's possible to pull somebody else over to him. Here he is. Looks like he's just maxing and relaxing. Looks like he always turns the same way, though. So if I go to his right, my left, I should be able to sit still. What are you doing here? As long as I get out of his field of view in time. Let's just let's just use the cloak to get over there. All right, so that accomplished getting get inside Bell Tower's port. That was worth 750 XP. New objective is retrieve Tong's package from the shed. Bell Tower runs tight security, but I've made it this far. Now I need to get on board their ship. To help me do this, Tong had one of his boys hide a package inside an equipment shed. Time to get inside and find it. What are you doing here? 
Oh, he saw me that time. Okay, I think it's more likely that I'm going to have to pull these guys around with noise. There's a the security bot. Oh, this guy's drifting. Check it out. I think he's supposed to be holding still, but... His animation is slowly pulling him over towards this staircase. Now that's interesting. Hey! You're in my What are you doing here? Alright, now this is one of the tricky spots. That right there is a security hub. That starts out unlocked. If we want the experience for hacking it, we have to do the same kind of thing we did way back in the Detroit police station. We have to get the guard either hostile or on high alert to convince him to leave or to lock the computer and leave. So... Let me start off by getting onto the staircase. I should be okay with a quick save here. Now I wonder if I'm close enough to him for it to work here, if I just drop a frag mine, that's usually sufficient. Uh, no, I need to get inside the shed, turn him hostile, then wait out the alert, then take him down, then hack the security hub. Is anyone there? Need to do all those things in that order. Right now, even though he's in there, the hub Explain is still locked. Now, where's he gonna go? Yeah? What do you want? He's all the way back outside the gate again. This is definitely irritating. Stop right there. Oh my gosh. I think maybe I can still turn the situation to my advantage. Damn. <laughs> I need to use the mine without letting it explode. Hello. I heard you. Oh, that didn't cut it. All right. All right. That's enough. Ain't nothing here. 
Hmm. Well, now I wonder if I can accomplish that without wasting one of my... Now... I've got something. Oh, come on, Jensen. Is this guy shifting every time I reload? Is that what's happening? Looks like... Maybe? I don't know. Holy shit! Oh yeah, look at... Look at that, he just ported it through the railing. I'm gonna wait and see how far he drifts. So this is getting out of hand. Look at that, would you? I'll tell you what'll really be something is if he steps through the wall. I don't think it's gonna let him do that. Oh, well, I don't know, it might. Look! What the hell is going on here? You see? What are you doing here? Ha! <laughs> Well, this is obviously a glitch. I can't actually accomplish anything up here on the roof. But I at least think I'm safe from detection. Yeah. And I think with that... I locked the security hub. And so maybe if I just get the timing right... I can do the double takedown now. I knew get him! I should be able to. Because they're both out on the stairway. Let me try popping a bar and cloaking. Let's Show yourself! Get him! In cover position. Hmm. Jensen doesn't seem too into the uh takedown idea. You hear someone jumping around over there? There we go. Oh shit, here comes the bot. Well, that was close, my friends. Two guards are dealt with. Which leaves me with four more double takedowns to orchestrate out here. There's a pocket secretary. Regarding storage unit B. From Wang Jin at porthungming.prc to shui.hung at minuteserver.ch. The code is 5895. As for your suspicions, don't worry about it, Hung. I've already looked into it and all is fine. You are a valuable client to this port, but you aren't paid to be a watchdog, so try not to get involved in Bell Tower's dealings. Administrator Wang, Foreman Chu told me to ask you for the new code to storage unit B. Could you please send when possible? Thank you in advance. And if you would please allow me another moment of your time. You are an honest and honorable man, so I feel it is my duty as a concerned citizen to inform you of suspicious activities by Bell Tower mercenaries. I have heard reports from your night crews concerning strange sounds and goings-on from some of the storage units. There is much curiosity about what they are shipping on board those boats. I do not wish to raise an alarm, but I feel you f fear you may be playing host to something illegal. Hung. Let's check the other guard. He's got a pocket secretary, too. Regarding security measures... 
From Ding Fu Hua to Chun Liko. Good work, Chun. Please contact Han to let him know. Ding Fu Hua, Deputy Administrator, Port of Han Ming. Chun Liko wrote, Fu Hua, the new terminal has been installed. Passcodes. Login. PRMTR01. Password Colossus. Please advise next step. Now the last piece of the puzzle is to see if I got him to lock the security hub. And I did. Beautiful. So let's hack this one. Port secure one. Can't get to the server node. That's fine. There are just two data stores I can get right away and then head straight for the exit node. A stopworm, 500 credits, and there's my 75 XP. So let's shut off those cameras. There's a turret somewhere, which is currently on default mode. I'll disable it in a bit. I just need to see where everything is before I start turning things off. And a computer, which I can also lock. Or hack, rather. Uh, perimeter, perimeter one, that's what that is. Password Colossus. Anyway, can't get to the server node. And there are one, two, three, four, five data stores to go after. I got them all. Access There's the exit. Granted. 200 credits, 100 XP, nuke virus, stop worm. We've read that already. From port authority at porthanming.prc to port underscore all at porthanming.prc. Departure log updated. Today's departure log, port of Hanming, PRC. Departing from port of Hanming, arriving at port of Hong Kong. Departure time, 1130 hours. Ocean cargo carrier, Zhen He. Registered country of origin, PRC. Departing from Port of Han Ming, arriving at Arctic Sea Installation, departure time 1800 hours, Ocean Cargo Carrier, Lak Long Quan, registered country of origin, Malaysia. Arri departing from Port of Han Ming, arriving at Port of Cairns, departure time 2100 hours, Ocean Cargo Carrier, Shen Neng 3, registered country of origin, PRC. Departing from Port of Han Ming, arriving at Port of Singapore, departure time 0300 hours, Ocean Cargo Carrier Hai Zhen Zhu, registered country of origin Malaysia. From Brav underscore actual at HQ underscore HI dot bell tower dot net to Brav underscore zero at Port Han Ming dot bell tower dot net. Sit rep. No change to mission directive. Bravo squad is still go for 0300. However, Super 6 team confirms VIP has been lost. Harvester cooperation is thus no longer guaranteed. Don't know how he did it, but it looks like Tong got his kid back. His obvious next move will be to slip him out of the country. Highly doubtful he'll use our port to do it, but heightened security is advised. Well, there's the bot, which I think I will just go ahead and disable right quick. So it can just sit right there. Now that I know where it is. Yep, you just sit right there, buddy. We'll destroy it once. I take care of all the human enemies and cameras. Anyway, wherever this turret is, let's disable it too. I'll worry about where it is later. For now, let's just keep checking things out. Got another sec security shed right here. Let's see what's going on inside here. No guards, that much is good. Let's hack this security hub. Port secure five. I can get to the server node. Just use a couple of nuke viruses to get through these level five directories. Access 300 credits, 300 XP, nuke virus, 100 XP for the hack. Turn off the cameras. That robot is already disabled, which is fine. 
Uh, let's hack the computer as well. Perimeter 2. No code found. That's fine. There's the server node. Always makes things easy. Access granted. 100 XP, nuke virus, 75 XP. From Wang.jin at porthanming.prc to StevensonM at porthanming.belltower.net. Reply, storage unit A. You can use storage unit A, but only for 24 hours, and only if you sweep it clean as soon as your guests are gone. And I mean really clean this time. Some of the day guys are getting nervous. 7785 will get you in. Wang, we're shipping cargo tonight. Sec 9 needs temp storage ASAP. We've read that already. From Belarus K at porthanming.belltower.net to epav e at porthanming.belltower.net. Help a fellow out? Epav, I figure we've got about eight hours to get the cargo out of the storage sheds, into the warehouse, and nailed up tight into those life pods before the ship sets sail. Then another two hours to clean up all signs of illegal activity before Wang's day guys get back. Any chance you're good with a forklift? Because Sanchez drives like shit. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's check for loot. We've got a tranquilizer rifle, pistol ammo, and it looks like that's it. Now we should be freer to move around out here. Wait a minute. Ah, a sniper up there saw me. I was wondering why the music picked up. We're good for now. If we want to max out our double takedowns, we have two snipers that we need to knock down from their perches. Whoa. Did somebody see the door open? I don't know. I don't know. Well, this place is just glitched out of its mind. I see dudes drifting through walls everywhere. I mean, I can turn the glitches to my advantage, but they can hurt me too. There's no doubt about that. I did read that even though they go hostile, if they don't see you, then knocking a sniper down by throwing something doesn't bust any of your stealth bonuses, which is pretty darn useful knowledge. Let's see about throwing this guy over the edge. Come on. Why did he turn hostile? What did he see? He didn't see me, that's for sure. I think technically he saw the dumpster moving. Alright, I'm not going to knock him over that railing. I probably need to wait and knock him off the edge. Over on the other end. So, let me see about pulling that off. Someone's 
Yep, so why don't you walk over there and check it out? What are you doing here? Dang it. Yeah, some of this stuff is gonna be hard. You know what, maybe I should just skip this one. I tell you what, knocking guys down, I mean, it's possible, but it obviously wasn't intended in the design, so. I'll do single takedowns on the snipers. Cause we're gonna, we're gonna unlock all the augmentations anyway. Now let's go get the other sniper. There's seven guys left out here total. With him down, the number is six. He's got 200 credits and a pocket secretary on top of his sniper rifle ammo. Reply warehouse balcony code from wang.jin at porthanming.prc to Cullens C at porthanming.belltower.net. The code to the warehouse balcony hasn't changed. It's still 6555. Sanchez must have made a mistake, but if it doesn't work, call me directly. Wang, we need the new code for the warehouse balcony. The old code didn't work when Sanchez tried it. Alright. Six guys now. I know at least a couple of them are out here. There's one each on these lower levels. This is where the heavies are. You're not gonna see anything? Oh, man. Of course, now that I've figured out about blocking patrols, I find it much easier to arrange these double takedowns. Anyway. Let's pull this heavy as far upstairs as we can. Come on, dude. There we go. Anyone's here? Come out now. Shit. I'm just freaking myself out. I heard that. Will he come upstairs? That is the question. The answer is no. Shit. I'm just freaking myself out. Alright, folks. I heard that. What are you doing? I'll tell you what, I think this might just be end game impatience setting in, but I'm tired of pulling guys together for double takedowns. 
if it's not obvious how it could be done, I'm not going to waste our time trying to set it up anymore. We're so close to the end. It seems superfluous to go for, what, 25 extra XP per two guys. That leaves five to worry about down here. He's got an EMP grenade. Someone there. Oops. I see four on this level. And maybe it's more realistic to try and pull those four together. I'm going to go to the other side and get the other heavy before I get too busy doing anything else. Ah, uh, there's the ceiling turret that I already disabled elsewhere. Now let's take this fellow down. He's got 300 credits and 24 heavy rifle bullets. That leaves four guys, plus there's one robot still active in that running. underground zone. Oh, I didn't want to pull him down here. Oh, goodness. Good gravy. I feel like I feel like I can pull those two together without too much effort. Let me work on that.
fighting. Oh man. So close. On that last one. Been neglecting my good old trusty pistol. <laughs> All right, that leaves two gentlemen out here. Of course, I'm virtually out of nutrients now. I have one jar, and that's it. He's got ten combat rifle bullets. He's got a pocket secretary. Reply, storage unit C from wang.jin at porthanming.prc to brunette at porthanming.belltower.net. No, no, no. C is already being used by another client. Promise me nothing will happen to the boxes and crates already in there, and I guess you can share it for a few hours, but this is going to cost extra. The code is 3343. Stevenson said to tell you we're going to need storage unit C as well. B can't handle all the volume. This is going to be the biggest shipment the ranch has gotten yet. Anyway, we need to hide these bodies. There are two more guys out here. Let's hide these bodies. Alright. One, I'm pretty sure, is inside this building. Hello. Yep, there he is. Heard you. But I think he'll come out. So I should be able to pull him over to the other one. Stop right there! Or he'll see me through windows, or through the wall. Who knows what's going on. Anyway, he's seated inside there. <gasps> Excuse me, I've got the hiccups. I wonder the other guy's up to. Come on. Spot me already. Right no alarmed. Straight to hostile. Mm -hmm. Just how bad is my endgame fatigue? Do I want to try to mess with these guys or not? I guess the only bi my big question is whether or not this guy will leave the building. I heard that. Come out. And there's really only one way to find out the answer to that. The answer is yes. He will come out. Well, that's handy. It's very useful knowledge. Yeah, where is he? I heard that. Come out. Here they are, right next to each other. And if I pull him <clears throat> if I pull him far enough out, he'll be sitting right on the other guy's patrol route. Alright, that's that's too easy to pass up. I heard that. Come out. Oh no, why did he leave? I heard why did he give up, I mean? <clears throat> did I move too far out or what? 
right, let's try again. I heard that. Come out. So just once, he comes all the way out there, and then he won't do it again. Come on, game. A little con behavioral consistency, please. I heard that. Come out. I heard that. Come out. Don't sit back down. Holy crap! So what, he's just he's gonna do that once and never do it again. I heard that. Come out. Come on. I heard that. Come out. Stop right there. Goodness, this is so irritating. Just come on out, dude. I heard that. Come out. Here he comes. Good. I don't know what triggers the difference. Come on, dudes. No, don't do a single, Jensen. Oh, they're so close. They're so close. Come on. Oh, there it was. Just for that split second where I can see it, but I didn't hit it in time. I heard that. Come out. There we go. Ooh. Okay. Another pocket secretary. Reply warehouse reception code from wang.jin at porthanming.prc to Belarus at Belarus K at porthanming.belltower.net. Fine. Use 4589. It will only be good until 0700 when the day shift returns. After that, it will return to the usual one. We've got 35 pods to load tonight, Wang. And it would be best if your cleaning staff doesn't walk in and surprise us. Care to generate a temporary access code for the door near reception? This one has five pistol bullets. Well, I might as well take a little bit of that since I had uh, used one shot. Well, now I'm out of nutrients, so I'm going to... If I want to keep engineering double takedowns and I'm not decided on that question I might just stop but if I am going to then I'll have to do it the old in a much more indirect old-fashioned sort of way than we've gotten used to anyway let's deal with the bots next Since I do have an EMP, EMP mines, I'm just gonna toss one right in front of this guy. I'm gonna go re-enable him. That should take care of him.
I just needed to make sure he couldn't see any bodies. Had no reason to be alarmed. <clears throat> Alright, let's deal with the turret now. I'll turn it back on. And I'll go deal with it. There's no one left outside. They're all inside the hangar building. Of course, there are still cameras here to be careful of. But... Turrets can't hear anything, which makes things easy. Hmm. I don't know that I can get it to move. So, perhaps... A grenade is in order. Maybe even a frag grenade. Let's see if that'll do the trick. Yeah. It certainly will. Now there's one robot left. In these underground areas we haven't really been to yet. Let's go check those out. Let's start with this vent shaft. 200 XP for exploring down here. That's always nice. Now this corridor is gassed. That doesn't really matter. Let's take care of that last robot with another EMP mine. Now he's dealt with. That, I think, goes up to the center building. I think most of these doors are hackable from the outside, so I'm just going to explore down here and then take the vent back out. What does this breaker do, I wonder? Ah, it pumps out the gas. Anyway, let's get to hacking. There's supposed to be five hackable doors. Here's storage unit A. Let's hack it open, even though we have the code. Nice and easy. Straight to the server node. Access granted. One nuke virus, 75 XP. Inside storage unit A, we find a rate of fire upgrade, which is useless to me, sniper rifle ammo, and crossbow arrows. Moving on to storage unit B. I cannot get to the server node. Access I got both data stores, 100 credits, 200 XP, 50 XP. Inside the storage unit I find a PEPS, a damage upgrade, which I'll put on my laser rifle. It can hold one more damage upgrade, two reload speed, and three ammo capacity. Here is storage unit C. Let's hack it open as well. Hmm. Cannot get to the server node. Hmm. 
There's only one data store, and I have to go through that transfer node to do it. But that's right on the way to... the exit node, so... I don't think I have to worry too much about it. Access 100 credits, 200 XP, and another 100 XP for the hack. In here we have rockets and a rocket launcher. Here's a door into the basement, which we'll also hack open. Of course. Cannot get to the server node. There's one data store. It's pretty handily on the way to the exit node. Hundred fifty XP. Access granted. Plus fifty XP. Now this door to the basement is unlocked. Now what's back here? Nothing. So well, let's go to the other side, where I believe there is one more door hack we can do. Oh look, silenced sniper rifle, combat rifle ammo. Thought I had done a thorough job looting out here. I guess I was wrong. Here it is. So let's hack this one open. Still can't get to the server node. There is one data store, which is pretty cleanly on the way to the exit, so not much to worry about there. Two hundred XP in the Access data store, granted. plus fifty for the hack. And yes, there's the other basement door. Storage unit D starts out unlocked. Inside we find grenade launcher ammo, shotgun cartridges, and combat rifle ammo. And that's about it. Well, now let's hack the entrances to the loading bay. There are two of those. Here's one on the ground level. Nice, easy level one hack. Of course, I can't get to the server node, but that doesn't really matter. The only data store is right on the way to the exit node. 100 credits, 25 XP. Now the door is unlocked. Let's go hack the other door, the one upstairs, or up on the catwalk, where we took down that sniper. Okay, I can... Oh, I can get to the server node if I go that way. Perfect. Access granted. Nuke virus, seventy five XP. There's also a vent out here. Somewhere that will take us in there. Let me go hunt that down. It's actually probably on the upper level now that I think about it. Well, maybe not. There it is. I crawl in here, that should be another 200 XP. Any second now. There it is. I don't, still don't want to actually tackle the loading bay. Alright, now let's finally head to this center building. Hey, what are we talking about? 
Okay, let's check these lockers. We got pistol ammo, combat rifle ammo. Out here, there's a hey, a cyber boost bar. Thank you. <laughs> An automatic unlocking device, and nothing. Let's hack the door. And then I'll hack the alarm panel. One data store. Just have to bounce down here to get it. Access granted. There we go. The door is unlocked. Let's hack the alarm panel. We can get to the server node nice and easy. Credit. 50 credits, 50 XP. Now let's head into this door. That goes down into the basement. In here is Tong's package. Tong's explosive package. You sure could teach my boy some tricks, Jensen. Tong? How did you get this frequency? Ancient Chinese secret. Now listen. We got Ghost and Smooth Operator, plus com the 1,000 XP for retrieving Tong's package from the shed. Let me glance at it right quick. Tong's Explosive Package, C4 Plastic Explosives. A plastic explosive known as Composition C, equipped with a detonator and timer device. It was left for you, compliments of Tong C. Hung and his harvester boys, inside a locker at Bell Tower's Seaport in Lower Hengsha. We got Ghost and Smooth Operator, that's all I really cared about. Of course, now that I have two Praxis points, I'll go ahead and unlock the Stealth Enhancer. Okay, I'll s get some of this stuff, I guess. I'll get I'll get Cones of Vision with my next Praxis point. You're going to plant that package in Administrator Wang's office. Put it on the bastard's desk and trigger it. Sound good? Sounds like I'm doing you a favor. How does it help me? The explosion should distract the guards. Then you hop in a cargo pod and off you go. But you only got one shot. No turning back once you trigger that thing, you get me? I got you. Only set it if I'm ready to go. Place the C4 on Administrator Wang's desk. Turns out Tong's package is a C4 bomb. Should create a nice little distraction if I can set it on the right desk and trigger it. But once I do, there will be no turning back. Second floor of the warehouse, Administrator Wang's desk. All right. So what the stealth enhancer is giving us right now, if you look at the radar in the lower left corner of the screen, those little bubbles around Jensen represent how much noise he's making. That's it. Let's go ahead and tackle the loading bay. Let's do a new perma save since we got Ghost and Smooth Operator on the last one. Now we have eight guards to deal with in here. Now this is interesting. First, first order of business, as usual, is to take down all eight human guards. 
We got a stun gun in the desk drawer. Here we've got a... Let's ha open this drawer. Three stun gun darts and one peps energy pack. Here's a security hub to hack, so let's take care of that. Port secure three. I think I can finally turn off those last couple of exterior cameras. I can go right for the server node. That's always a relief. Access granted. 200 credits, 100 XP, 50 XP. No turrets, robots, or doors. We'll shut off the two cameras at least. Well, let's hack this computer. A dang. No code. That's fine. Cannot get to the server node. And dang, this is a huge grid. There's one data store up there. And another down here. Okay. I'm going to fortify as I go. And I'm just going to move both directions if I can. Might as well use some of those stop worms and nuke viruses I've been hoarding. I got both data stores. And there's the exit node. No problem. Access granted. 150 credits, 100, 150 XP, another 50 XP. From tam.jun at porthanming.prc to deng.i at porthanming.prc. Reply, lousy place. I share your concerns, I, I really do. I will try to speak to Administrator Wang today. He is under a lot of pressure and perhaps as scared as we are, but I still believe he is a man of honor. Jun, I just had a run-in with a bell tower soldier. As usual, he tried to speak to me like I was a dog. This time I just couldn't sit back and accept it. I told him to show some respect, but he laughed. He said I was lucky he wasn't the one loading cargo pods tonight. I don't think we can continue to be silent about what's going on here any longer, Jun, but who will listen to us? I'm so afraid. From Port Authority at PortHanMing.prc to Port underscore All at PortHanMing.prc. Departure log updated. Today's departure log, Port of Hanming, PRC. Departing from Port of Hanming, arriving at Hong, Port of Hong Kong. Departure time, 11.30 hours, ocean cargo carrier, Zhen He, registered country of origin, PRC. Departing from Port of Hanming, arriving at Arctic Sea Installation, departure time, 1,800 hours, ocean cargo carrier, Lak Long Quan, registered country of origin, Malaysia. Departing from Port of Hanming, arriving at Port of Cairns, departure time 2100 hours, ocean cargo carrier Shen Neng 3, registered country of origin PRC. Departing from Port of Hanming, arriving at Port of Singapore, departure time 0300 hours, ocean cargo carrier Hai Zhen Zhu, registered country of origin Malaysia. Sorry about the hiccup, viewers. From ding.fuhua at porthanming.prc to deng.i at porthanming.prc. Warehouse access. Ms. Deng, the Hai Zhenju will be debarking very early tomorrow morning. Please make sure that its crew has full access to the warehouse before you leave for the evening. And might I suggest that you also leave the premises promptly at 1800 hours? You are a sensitive woman, and I would not like for you to encounter more unpleasantness than necessary from our clients. Ding Fuhua, Deputy Administrator, Port of Hanming. Interesting. Let's get to work on the eight guys who are in here. Ugh. Look at Narhari Khan. Oh man, I was hoping to get those two. I'll have to I'll have to manage to approach closer before the conversation ends. And then it seems like it should be pretty easy to pull Narhari down to the other patroller. I can take them down. Uh, 
Well, I didn't want to get spotted either. Yeah, that's not going to work either. It should be obvious that good old Narhari Khan will not be here if you killed him on either of the prior two occasions where you could have seen him. The Alice Garden Pods ambush and or the Tai Young Medical Tower. He's doing a single. I don't want that, Jensen. Stop him! Oops. Can't have that either. There is a stealth bonus tied to this objective. Go stand smooth operator, so... We have got to be more careful. Don't tell me you didn't hear that. Were you asleep or something? Hello. I heard you. Oh man, they're not going to come close enough together, are they? Nope. <laughs> Might have to use some good old-fashioned pistol bullets. So let's do it. Look like anyone's coming in. Maybe I should. Maybe I should just see what these guys do before I get too hung up on catching them right now. Timing was off, but I can pull them together that way at least. See See Anyone's here? Come out now. I think you're seeing things. Oh, shoot, <sighs> that was close. Did you really think you'd find someone? Come on. Very nearly got nailed. This is. You see anything? Anyone's 
here. Come out now. This is going to be better timing, I think. I just got to get these guys hidden. What did I pick up, anyway? A machine pistol. No thank you. What's this guy carrying? He's got ten machine pistol bullets. That's fine and dandy. Is there a good place to stash them? Not really. Just... Bring them as far up here as I can and pray no one sees them, I guess. That one's got 15 combat rifle bullets. Let's just try and get them through that door. I'll feel much better about it if I can pull that off. There we go. And there's one. Let's pull the other out of there, and then we'll only have six guys to deal with. And there's Narhari Khan, so I get the feeling that if I let him spot me along the other guy's patrol route, I'll be able to pair them for a double takedown without too much fuss. All right, two down, six to go. And let's just try and get spotted by Narhari. Well, maybe before I do that, I can take care of some of these other guys. Did they tell you where these spots are going? Well, they told me it's top secret. And did they tell you why they're storing people in them? I don't ask questions. And neither should you. That's messed up. It must be for some immoral experiment. I guess we're all just hamsters in our cages these days. Someone check out. I did that jump just because I had to get the one guy out of his chair. That one was easy. Nothing. 210 credits. Alright, while we're in here, we've got a concussion grenade and 200 credits. And here's a security hub. This door wasn't hackable or anything, was it? No. Alright, let's hit the security hub right quick. Port Secure 2. Jeez, this is another big grid. I count two data stores, which neither of which are too hard to get to. The exit node right over here. Access credit. 75 credits, 125 XP, 25 XP. Alright, let's disable the turret and turn off the camera for now. Clean things up, make them easier. I notice another two guys already neatly standing together up here. You know very well the is the one who analyzed the registry. 
I just wish that he'd tell us he was going to tamper the data before we start loading. Confused the shit out of me. Must be some pretty heavy shit he's hiding this time. Yep. Not that we'll ever find out. Alright. Down they go. That was nice and easy. Twelve machine pistol bullets and a pocket secretary. Access info from Wang Jin to Yuan Rong. Mr. Yuan, as my replacement when I go on holidays, you will need to access my office and computer terminal. Here are the codes you will need. Office code 3295, computer password, main man, computer login, J Wang. The key to the accounts payable filing cabinet is under the potted fern. This is sensitive information. Please record and then delete this message, Administrator Wang. That's fine. Let's hack the door to the offices and hide the bodies in there. There is one data store. Access 150 credits, 25 XP. All right, let's drag the bodies in there. Let's focus on pulling Narhari Khan down. Setting up the last double takedown. Okay, I obviously need to get closer to him if I want him to see me. coming. And he should be right on the path of the other guard, which is what I want. Wham. Beautiful. Good night, gentlemen. Okay, he's got a gas grenade and a thousand credits. That's the third time we've knocked his dumb ass out. And a hundred credits here. You'll notice that since the tense music has stopped, we can safely conclude we're alone in here. Now, here's the other tricky thing. There's a box guard worth 250 XP, which we obviously want, but it only spawns if we trigger an alarm. Eh, I'm not gonna mess with it. Ugh. I'm just going to destroy the turret. Before I do that, let's just carry it a little bit away. Put a good old-fashioned frag mine on that turret, and then turn it back on so it'll explode.
There we go. Well, maybe I will mess with it. Just give me a minute to figure out what I want to do. First, let's check the offices. So we're just about at the end of this level now. That's where we place the package when we're ready to end the level. So let's not do that quite yet. Let's check this other office first. Here's a computer to hack. JTAM, no code found. No code, no problem can't get to the server node. Only one way to the exit. I get the data store pretty cleanly on the way there anyway. Access granted. One nuke virus, 50 XP. From dang.i at porthanming.prc to tam.jun at porthanming.prc. Lousy place. June, I just had a run-in with a bell tower soldier. As usual, he tried to speak to me like I was a dog. This time, I just couldn't sit back and accept it. I told him to show some respect, but he laughed. He said I was lucky he wasn't the one loading cargo pods tonight. I don't think we can continue to be silent about what's going on here any longer, June, but who will listen to us? I'm so afraid. Let's see. Over here, we've got 200 credits. Here's another computer. This is F. Ding's computer. No code found. Can't get to the server node. That's okay. Just head this way. The data store and the exit are in the same direction. There we go. 10 XP Access in the data granted. store, 50 XP for the hack. From wang.jin at porthanming.prc to ding.fuhua at porthanming.prc. Purchase order 28766A. Ding. Contact Xinming Manufacturing immediately. Tell them that the last shipment of cargo pods they delivered to us had faulty regulator units. How can Bell Tower expect to deliver fresh products to their client if enough oxygen is not available during transport? I want a repairman out here within the week and 25 complimentary pods sent over to us ASAP. Wang. Alright, now let's hack this last computer. This should be the last hack in the area. Can't get to the server node. Data store's up there. Not too tough to get to. Stopworm 75 XP. From Malkin C at porthanming.belltower.net to wang.jin at porthanming.prc. Tong Jr. Wang, tell your men to be on the lookout for Tong's son. Word is he slipped our net and may be trying to get off the island. If anyone finds him, we can talk about a reward. CM. From tam.jun at porthanming.prc to wang.jin at porthanming.prc. Illegal activities. Administrator Wang, I know you are a man of honor, so I am begging you to do something about Bell Tower. There is much grumbling among employees, many claiming to have seen captives being shipped to Singapore and the far north. Can we not stop them from engaging in their illegal kidnapping schemes? June. From Hivemaster at thehive.hi.prc to wang.jin at porthanming.prc. Bad choice. Very well, Wang. It seems you have finally taken a stand in this issue. I can respect that. It is, unfortunately, the wrong stand, as you will no doubt come to discover in due course. Alright, there are a couple of things left to do. First, I just need to check upstairs right quick. Where Narhari Khan was patrolling around. Make sure I haven't missed anything up here. There's the catwalk where that sniper was. We've got sniper rifle ammo up here. What's in this door? Stun gun darts. Cyber Boost Pro Energy Jar. There we go. All 
Alright, that's it for that. Now for the fun... Well, I gotta do a couple of things first. Don't. I'm gonna skip all the relevant cutscenes for now. And just see if I currently have my stealth... Oh wait, we can go up here. I bet this is where the vent spits you out. We got heavy rifle ammo up here. Yes. Oh, no. Just another entrance to the office. Anyway. First, I'm going to make sure I currently have the stealth bonuses intact. Are you ready to leave Hengsha Island for good? Because once you place the bomb, there will be no turning back. And it's going to take me through a load screen, of course. Something's wrong, Jensen. I pinged you, and a second later, I lost your GPL signal. It's like you disappeared into a black hole. Gotta be a jammer. Well, obviously. If you can find the transmitter and take it offline, I'll be able to track you. And keep you on a tighter leash. I've got more important things to do than help you keep tabs on me. If Megan and her team are here, there's no time to waste. Oh. Well, hold on. I guess I need to just look at the totals because it's not showing me. That's irritating. Alright. Right now I have 2,600... Well, let's look at this. 212,375. So I need to remember that number. Two one four one two five. So let me just see right quick. Two one four minus two one two is twenty one twenty five minus three seventy five is two thousand fifty, right? Let me just use a calculator. I know it's lame, but 214125 minus 212375 is 1750, which sounds like, yes, we got full credit that time. So now, let me try this on for size. There is something in there that says you can still get everything by destroying the camera, triggering the alarm that way, which will spawn the box guard. Of course, I have to successfully destroy the camera first. It's unknown how this affects uh, Foxiest of the Hounds. So in fact, I'm going to make a new permanent save right now, just in case. And that way, if I end up getting all the smooth operator bonuses and not getting foxiest of the hounds, I'll know to come back here. Anyway. Okay, with the camera destroyed, if we go back to the loading bay entrance, a box guard should show up, it says. Sure enough, here it comes.
Let's just take him down with an EMP grenade. That's the easiest. So, 212625, if I still get the bonuses, which I'm supposed to, I will et start Singapore with, just let me enter this, plus 1750, 214375, that's what I should have if everything goes well. So this time we'll watch the cutscenes. Shit! There goes Tracer. So that distraction wasn't just for me, was it, Tom? Richard, I'm going off the grid for a while. Not sure how long. Why? What are you up to, Jensen? Following a lead. And where exactly is this lead taking you? You there! Get that cargo, clear the fire! We're pulling out now! Load it, secure those bonds! Answer me, Jensen. Where are you going? Hell if I know, Pritchard. Hell if I know. Days later, Pritchard, any chance you're still there? Jensen, my God, you've been offline for days. Where the hell are you? I was hoping you'd tell me. I'm pinging you now. You're in Singapore. Something's wrong, Jensen. I pinged you, and a second later, I lost your GPL signal. It's like you disappeared into a black hole. Go okay, we got Ghost and Smooth Operator, despite the fact that technically an alarm went off. Now, I think that might rob me of foxiest of the hounds the achievement for getting through the whole game with no alarms i'm not sure about that which is why i made one more save right before i destroyed the camera but i'm going to proceed with that extra 250 experience from the box guard anyway let's let them finish talking better be a jammer well obviously if you can find the transmitter and take it offline i'll be able to track you and keep you on a tighter leash i've got more important things to do than help you keep tabs on me if Megan and her team are here, there's no time to waste. Alright, so, here we are at the start of the Omega Ranch. That's it, the Singapore facility. I guess you don't technically know it's the Omega Ranch yet, but that doesn't matter. So, there's the new permasave. 
a new quick save, and I'm going to say, this has been Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. We tackled the Bell Tower port. Next time, we'll tackle the Omega Ranch. Until then, thank you for watching. I'm off to a Batman marathon. Bye-bye.